All my friends, what is up and welcome to a new video on my channel. I'm Alan Twenty Tisa from Germany and I found some footage guys. And I'm already into editing the video because yes, I found some more footage from my trip last year in Japan. And on this day, I did the full day of eating donut video in Tokyo. So I got to edit the video. I know how much you all love the donuts and me as well. So I hope you will enjoy the video. But we will see us on Sunday with a new one. So stay tuned for that. A full day of eating cronuts only from Royal Donuts. So the new cross nuts. Stay tuned for this video as well. But anyways, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. It will help me a lot. Smash the like button if you like donuts. And yeah, be prepared for some delicious, good looking and tasty donuts from Japan. I love you all guys. And thanks for watching. Oh my god, I'm sweating as hell. The humanity is crazy, but I'm happy that I got a different shirt with me <laughs> to change it up later on. But guys, yes, we are at Donut Plant New York City, right in the back. In the Minato area. So let's get in and let's find out what they offer. I really don't know, but I really hope that they got the Tres Leches, the Three Leche Donut. It's a cake donut, but it's one of my favorite donuts of all time. So let's get inside and... So what's that? Um, tres Leche. Uh, Kyoto Uji Green Tea. Um, uh, vanilla bean. Hi. Um, and Brooklyn uh, blackout. Hi. Yeah, and here we have our donut plant donuts from Tokyo, and I'm super excited. So, here we got the number one seller vanilla bean yeast donut. Here we got my Brooklyn Blackout from New York and I love this donut, I have to try it again, it's a cake donut. Here we got my all time favorite cake donut, well, the Tres Leches. I'm really excited how this, how this is going to taste here, I really don't know. And uh, the matcha one, so a Japanese one, definitely we need a matcha donut today. But look at this beauty guys, oh wow. So, itadakimasu. Definitely a blackout after eating this donut. Oh my god! So rich and dense. Like in New York. Exactly like in New York. Super moist, super delicious, super heavy. And I think easy 500 calories for this one. Easy. The outside is chocolate, chocolate sprinkles, a brownie batter in the inside. Oh, is she? I never got a vanilla bean, I think, from Donut Plant, so let's try it out. So, Terakimas. A little bit refreshing because of all the chocolate guys, but the vanilla taste is amazing. And the yeast. Mm. Whoa. It smells really bitter matchery on the outside. But I hope it's sweet in the inside. Let's try it out. I'm super excited. Mm. This is a punch in your face. The dough is again a cake donut. I think the yeast will be better with the matcha glaze. But it's dense, it's heavy, it's delicious. Really much for everybody who loves matcha. This is your donut, Shinichi. Trust me, this is your donut. This is so powerful and strong. Mm. Mm. 
Pero... Guys, it's so amazing, it's so delicious, but I gotta say, my donut, my tres leches donut from New York was better. A yeah, really good one. Just because I had some milk to dip in, it cannot be better. Oh wow. Mm. Oh, this 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 bite was fire, really moist. Mm. There we go. Cheers. Let's bite. Cheers to Jeff to New York Donut Plant. Love you all, guys. You are amazing. Oh yeah. I'm so happy right now. Oh my god. Okay guys, we finally made it for the next spot. And here we are at Harrods. I passed this uh, small shop because it's so tiny and cute and it looks so traditional from the outside and it's in a little street in um, Shibuya but not in real Shibuya so it's outside from Shibuya in Uehara I think it calls though but right now we'll go inside and then we will see what they have because it's a little bit late and I don't think that they got everything that I want to try but I hope two of the donuts that I really want to try okay guys back at home with our two donuts from Harrods so let's dig in guys let's start with the cream cheese first they are all fresh, home-baked every day and you can see it definitely that this is not factory or something and so, so soft Wow! Itadakimasu! Whoa! Wow, trust me guys, super soft, super so amazing, really not, not dry and the yeast flavor, oh wow, yeah! Mmm, oh she does, mmm, and sweet cream cheese. With vanilla and no joke so so fluffy I don't know if you're able to see it through the camera it's a little bit more yellowish than it's definitely or orange. But it looks amazing again. Same texture. Let's try the pumpkin donut. So, Takimas! Yeah. Orangey, yellowish. I gotta say, first, I don't want to buy the cream cheese one. Because I want the matcha one, but the matcha one was sold out. But I'm really happy that I bought the the cream cheese one. Mmm. I like this, but this is mm, not so strong. You taste the sweet potato pumpkin kind of sweetness. But I wish this would be filled. But still good. Definitely more kind of an Asian donut. Huh. 
So we will see us in the next spot. And I think you know where. I go strictly right now to the second place. And we are right now in Harajuku at Good Town Donuts. Mr. Donuts. So it's time for donuts spot number three. Okay guys, right now it's time to start with all the donuts. So we got Jack in the Donuts, we got Good Town Donuts, and we got the Mr. Donuts. I'm a little bit fucked up because the donuts from Jack in the Donuts, from all the transportation, I don't look so good like before. But I think they will still taste good, so I don't care right now. So let's start guys. This is the original glazed one from Jack in the Donuts. And you can see it's really sugary, but it's still, oh, the texture is still pretty good. So, itadakimasu. The taste is totally different to a normal donut. So it tastes like a donut, but really eggy, I gotta say. Mm. But it's so moist. Some proteins. Now it's up for the summer edition from Jack in the Donuts. It's a cream brulee filled with cream cheese and white peach. Here you can see the filling. Mm. Oh wow. Oh. A little bit burnt flavor from the cream really and it, I love this flavor. Oh and then strictly comes the sweetness from the white peach. Oh damn. Mm. Oh wow. I enjoyed it so much and I'm really happy that the donut taste is still there and really good because don't judge a book by its cover, definitely. But, just like I said, watch my other Jack in the Donuts video and then you will see how, how good they look normally. Oh. And now it's time for the cronut from Jack in the Donuts. You cannot see it right now maybe, but here you can see the layers. Yeah, it's not like before because of the transportation but we will see so cheers guys and this one is sold out very very often at Jack and Donuts and right now I know why this one is amazing wow wow Still all the layers. Flaky. Soft. So much flavor. And still crispy. So far my favorite one. Goodbye. Mm. Strawberry or sandwich, guys? Which one's next? I think we will go with the sandwich. Time for the next donut, guys. And here we got the sandwich donut. So it's a donut filled with Hokkaido milk cream, the famous Hokkaido milk, and some chocolate chips. 
I hope you can understand me guys because they are so loud but let's see so itadakimas Ma Mmm the cream so milky It's a bit refreshing, I gotta say. I thought it was it will be heavier, but it's not. It's so amazing. Mm. Wow. Compare them, guys. This one is big, really. It is not small. But this one, crazy, crazy. Crazy and so heavy. Definitely double in calories, but I don't care. Calories don't count today, so let's try out the strawberry glazed from Mr. Donuts. Mm. It could be stronger in the strawberry taste. It tastes more like a strawberry milkshake glaze than strawberry but definitely delicious strawberry glaze team big bites nick nate greetings to you guys to america love you mm. Mm -mm -mm. So guys, time for the toasted coconut from Good Town Donut in Harajuku. Greetings to you, Darko, my bro. Brate, I miss you. And this bite right now is only for you. So guys, live life on YouTube, subscribe it. So cheers, Brate, love you. To be honest, 400 yen for this donut is really expensive, but the size is crazy and I really think about before I buy this that this will be too doughy or too bready, but it's not, it's definitely not, it's amazing, it's so soft, pillowy. Good town donuts, good job. Let's bite guys. Then it's time for the next spot. So far so good. And here we are guys, Krispy Kreme Japan. Okay guys, we're right now inside the Krispy Kreme and I ordered me two donuts. Only two because I was, I think, three more times before this video. And to see me eating more donuts for Krispy Kreme, just go on the link down in the description box down below. And you will see me eating a lot of Krispy Kreme donuts. So, just to let you know. So guys, let's start with the original glazed one. Like every time, my favorite is Krispy Kreme. So simple, but damn delicious. And I cannot get enough from this one. So, cheers guys. And again. So soft, oh wow. This is every time just amazing. I don't know why. Mm. 
spicy. You really don't have to chew that much. <laughs> and it's still very fresh and warm. Maybe that's why. It makes everything just perfect. And the second donut, guys, it's a chocolate walnut one. And I also don't saw this in the States. So why not? Let's give this a try. It's not really Japanese, but I need some chocolate, guys. So, cheers. <laughs> Mm. Oh, she. This is not only chocolate, but also caramel. Oh, this is amazing. Really, this, is, this is so good. And I pay 399 yen for two. It tastes a bit like Christmas, I don't know why, but it works. I think I never had walnuts on my donuts the first time. It's right now it's time for the next part. Yes, 7-Eleven. <laughs> Definitely, just because we are in Japan, we have to try donuts from 7-Eleven. The Pondering Donut. They also got some chocolate donuts sometimes and uh, whipped cream sandwich donuts but yeah they don't worth it so much but let's try out this pondering sugar glazed donut from 7-eleven the smell is amazing so let's see also the texture like from Mr. Donuts it's chewy because of the rice flour the mochi and it's a remix from normal yeast dough and rice flour though so you really have the taste from the uh, from a normal fried donut but also the texture of the mochi but not too chewy but it's amazing and I can highly recommend this donut from 7-eleven please try out the cinnamon one and the strawberry one they are also really really good good job 7-eleven sugar glazed mochi donut also in my belly so and that was the end of the full day of eating donuts only I hope you all enjoyed the video and just like I said stay tuned for Sunday's new video that is coming up with a lot of delicious cronuts trust me you will love the video as well so we will see us much love from Germany till we eat again